Hello? I'm home alone. <laughs> what is up, party animals? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emery, and today I have a super exciting video. We will be doing a tutorial, a tutorial on how you can do a back walkover. So if you do not know what a back walkover is, it's basically like a back bend, but instead of pushing up into it, you are starting standing and ending standing. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Be sure to share this video to anybody that could use it or <laughs> could use it. You need to know how to do a back walkover right now or anybody that is trying to get a back walkover. Okay, with that being said, let's get right into it. One, two, three. Howdy, hello everybody. Hello everybody and hi guys. I'm gonna do a little toe gripping action. Oh, we are sliding. Come here. Yourself an open space. Actually, I would definitely recommend when you first begin practicing using a yoga mat. But since I'm high key a pro, I am not going to be using a mat. Let's begin with how you want to um, have your hands and your arms. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your hands into a diamond shape, so like this. I learned it like this, so I'm just going to teach it this way. And you're going to have your fingers spread out so that your hands are ready to meet contact with the ground and hold your body up as well. You have to have your arms locked out. You cannot be in a back bend like this. Oh, my back. <laughs> like this is not, this is not a good setup. Also, it is incredibly painful and actually includes more strength. So we are going to keep our hands as straight as possible. If you can get them locked out, I mean, that's cool, but like you don't have to. Just keep like a comfortable bend. As well, when you are going into the back bend, you want to be looking back, not looking straight in front of you because you, you go where you're looking. So, and that also involves having your arms up here, not right here. So don't, yeah, that's just gonna be more strenuous on your back. Keep your arms up here to make life easy and just go back. So that is kind of like back bend 101 basics. Um, yeah, once you've done that and once you are able to get into the back bend, now let's talk about kicking out of the back bend. So you are currently here and, you know, using slightly bent arms, you got your knees bent, you're all ready. You're gonna engage those legs and use your dominant leg, my dominant leg, I guess, is my left leg. And you're going to lift one leg up. And using the other leg, you're going to push yourself over. And I understand at the beginning, this is going to be tricky. So, I mean, maybe like hit up leg day before trying it. So you feel extra strong. I mean, extra strong. I'm trying to flex my leg. I would especially recommend doing like jump squats or squats in general to help with that like explosive um, motion of pushing off or like lunges, I guess, you know, just good leg exercises to help your kick over, make it more smooth, make it easier. I will not be showing you my feet, but my, the ground is so dirty, my hands. I'm like covered in dust and you're not looking. You don't need to see that. Now for some tips. When you're first practicing your back bend, be sure to try using a wall because I think it's a great way to emulate um, the action and the process. I should have better form. Okay, arms straight and up, close to your ears, walk it down. Then once you're able to get into the back bend, 
taking something like a stool or a chair, putting your feet up on there. You could also be like on a hill or on something like a ledge um, and use that to decrease the amount you have to actually like kick off. As you can see, like I could be pretty gentle and I was able to make it over. Over time, you should be able to decrease the incline and use more of your leg strength. Now let's put it all together. So typically for when you're doing a back walkover, you're gonna wanna have one foot in front of the other. If you feel comfortable, you can even have it lifted up like this. That I also think is just a little bit more helpful to create a cool illusion. And then just follow, follow your hands and use your legs to follow those hands as well and just let it roll. I will say I recommend starting off doing the back walkover with your foot on the ground because it's gonna help with stability and balance because when you're in a row like that, it's very different from when you have a stance like this, but instead now you're in a row. Um, so yeah, keeping your foot on the ground just for when you're first learning it. Anyways, you guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you benefited from this. So I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.